All right, just really quickly, I wanted to make a follow-up video to the video that I posted right before this one called You Need to See How the Cops Treat This Kid. This deals with this kid named Lloyd. His last name is Lloyd. Jordan LeVar Lloyd and his friend who was videotaping named Bryce Snell. Lloyd is 19 at the time in 2016. Bryce Snell is 18 years old. Now, I'm going to read from this Merced Police Department before we get to a follow-up video from Lloyd. Jordan Lloyd put out a video apologizing for what he had done. And what I wrote in my pinned comment under this video is that later Jordan Lloyd said in a video that this incident between he and the Merced cops was, quote, an example of what not to do in the streets. Well, what was the kid doing? They supposedly got him for a municipal code violation, not even a violation of the law. What are laws? Laws are the opinions of politicians backed by the threat of force. And government is not eloquence. It's not reason. It is force. And like fire, it's a dangerous servant and a fearful master. So they weren't even enforcing a law. They weren't upholding the Constitution. What they were doing was they were upholding a municipal code against a 19-year-old kid who is riding his bike on the sidewalk. Now, granted, could it be dangerous if there's a lot of pedestrians walking around using the sidewalk and you're on your bike? Could you, with the speed that you're going, run into people? Yeah, you could. But the argument can also be made, go into any major city in the United States and they rent these electric scooters that you can ride on the sidewalk. And maybe even in Merced, maybe at a lot of places in California, you can, and I've seen this, uh, Mission Beach is one example. San Diego is another example where you can rent these electric scooters and ride them on the sidewalk. So why can't you, and you can go pretty fast on these scooters. So why can't you on a bike? Oh, that's right, because the city code says you can't. So it's all hypocrisy. But what needs to be noted before I go further on this is that the kid did not commit a crime. Did he break a municipal code? Maybe. Let's say, let's, let, let's put it in the definite, definite category by saying if there was a municipal code saying that it's a violation, it's a code violation to ride your bike on a walkway or on a sidewalk, then yes, he broke the municipal code. But did he commit a crime? No. How do we know? Because he didn't leave a victim. If you don't have a victim, you don't have a crime. If you didn't harm somebody, threaten to harm somebody, damage somebody's property and refuse to pay for it, you didn't commit a crime. So it doesn't warrant this kind of response where the second officer arrived on the scene. Gonzalez, Martin, uh, Martinez stopped him first. Gonzalez came up off of his motorcycle, looks like he's a motorcycle cop, and puts his hands around this kid's neck. And we're going to read what the Merced Police Department said, but they don't even mention the fact that they abused this kid. They brutalized this kid. They harmed this kid. They initiated violence against this kid. No, none of that at all. And we're going to read some of the comments under this kid's video where he makes an apology. And I question, and a lot of people, other people do, I question, did he make the apology because he was coerced by the court? Hey, tell you what, it's going to go easy for you if you make this apology video. Telling everybody how wrong you were and how right the police were and how much you should respect your authorities. So this is back in May of 2016. And this is a news release. This is dealing with suspect one Jordan Lloyd, 19 years old, and Bryce Snell, 18 years old. And the crimes for suspect one, that's Jordan Lloyd, was resisting delays or obstructing a police officer. It says peace officer. They're not peace officers. They're not there keeping the peace. They're initiating violence. Performing an official duty, threatening a police officer. How, okay, if somebody walks up to you and tries to grab you and you try to get away, are you threatening that person or did they come up and initiate force on you to where you're trying to defend yourself? Cause that's what happened. No, no magic. Let's get rid of magic pixie dust here. It doesn't matter about the costume. It doesn't matter about the, the, the Cracker Jacks badge or the perceived authority of the state. Martinez came and Martinez came up to him and grabbed him and he didn't commit a crime. He hadn't committed a crime. And if you want him to stay off the sidewalk, why not engage in a cordial conversation with him so that he can leave you, you and he can leave the interaction and the encounter on a positive note? Why not try that, cops?
but they don't do that. That's not what they go to first. They go to force and violence first. Uh, riding his bicycle on a sidewalk, sidewalk prohibited for riding bicycles. Suspect number two, and this is the guy who was holding the video camera. If Lloyd didn't do anything wrong, the cameraman definitely didn't do anything wrong. Resisting delays or obstructs peace officer performing an official duty by recording them. So Merced police officers, this is what the Merced police department said from their Facebook page. This is their news bulletin. Merced police officers were on foot patrol and the downtown area of central Merced to enforce regulations, to protect the safety and peace of patron protection and safety will always be the alibi of tyrants. They're always going to come along and say, Hey, the reason we're enforcing this law is to keep you safe. That's always going to be their excuse. So for the protection and safety, and peace of patrons in the commercial shopping area along West Main Street. Citizens are prohibited from riding bicycles and skateboards on the sidewalk to protect the public from bike and skateboard riders colliding into them. So what's going to protect us from the cops? What's going to protect us when they make that illegal U-turn? What's going to protect us when they run that red light and bash into the side of somebody's car? What's going to protect us when they're speeding 110 miles down the road so they can catch up to you because you're going six miles an hour over the speed limit? You want citizens, quote unquote, citizens to be protected? Then why don't you show us that you actually want to be protected by ceasing with the dangerous activities that make us unprotected, that keep us unsafe? resulting in possible injury to patrons patrons. So that's their justification for grabbing this kid. Officer Martinez saw Jordan Lloyd riding his bicycle on the sidewalk of West main street. Lloyd was sub subsequently stopped by Martinez. That's the female with the mousy voice for the Merced municipal code violation. That's all it was. It wasn't a law. Didn't break a law, not up there to up uphold the constitution and your right to life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness and property, which she damaged by dropping the bike twice on the pavement. And if you want to take a look at that video, just look at my last video. Martinez informed Lloyd that it was a violation to ride his bicycle on the sidewalk and she was going to issue him a citation for the violation. Officer Martinez asked Lloyd for his identification to properly verify his identity. If you haven't committed a, a code violation, breaking a code violation isn't a crime. You are not required to give somebody your ID. You can give them your name and if you want to, your address and say, you can call me dot, dot, dot for your, your thing, but I don't want to go into your database. Lloyd refused to give his identification to the officer and then told her to take him to jail. I listened to that video multiple times, never heard Lloyd say, just take me to jail. I think that's a lie. Unless you guys can hear something on the original video that I didn't hear. Subsequently, Lloyd was going to ride away on his bicycle. And it was at this time that Officer Martinez grabbed Lloyd to prevent him from leaving. Where did Martinez happen to grab Lloyd? Oh, that's right. With his white gloves around the kid's neck. That's where he grabbed Lloyd. No mention of that in this Merced briefing here. Lloyd physically resisted Officer Martinez, refusing to allow her to take him into custody. Officer Gonzalez arrived on the scene to assist Martinez in taking Lloyd into custody. Lloyd tried to prevent both officers from handcuffing him by actively resisting both officers, but he was subdued and torture cuffed. Let's just call them what they are and keep calling them what they are. Gonzalez demanded for Lloyd to sit down, but again, Lloyd resisted and refused to sit down on the sidewalk. Lloyd was forced to sit down on the sidewalk until the arrival of other police officers to assist them with the incident. During that time that Martinez and Gonzalez were struggling to gain control of Lloyd, Snell, that's the cameraman, was moving in close to the officers, and it was at this time that Officer Gonzalez demanded Snell to get back away from him. If you look at the camera footage, Snell was not that close to these cops. He was standing on a public sidewalk, just like anybody who would be walking by. That's how close, you know, that, that's how narrow the sidewalks are. You can stand on the sidewalk, you can record police as they're engaging in their professional duties. At this time, Officer Avery arrived on the scene, seeing Officer Gonzalez turning towards Snell to demand Snell to, quote, get back. Officer Avery then quickly responded to stop Snell, seeing, seeing him, quote, only a few feet away from Officer Gonzalez. So what's the limit? Is it three feet? 
If you're closer than two feet, is it six feet? How close is it? Is it a sliding scale? Is it an arbitrary number? Subsequently, Snell was arrested for the crime as indicated above. And the crime that Snell was uh, uh, charged with was resist. Resist what? In order to go move back, it looked like he did move back, but he didn't have to. He wasn't interfering. He wasn't obstructing. He wasn't interrupting. He was recording, saying, I got this all on tape. I got this all on tape. Resist, delays, or obstructs peace officers performing an official duty. That's just a flat-out lie. We have the video evidence. But Lloyd and Snell were booked at the Merced County Jail for the above-indicated crimes. No one sustained any injuries during this incident. Merced Police Department appreciates all bootlickers, I mean witnesses, who came forward to provide statements to our personnel regarding this incident. What if they were statements that said, hey, dude, I saw you put your hands around this kid's neck. Would you want somebody putting their hands around your kid's neck? Do you think this is even right? In what world would this be right? Anybody, any one of those come forward? If they did, the Merced Police Department isn't going to let you know about it. Police officials are asking all citizens to cooperate with law enforcement officers as they are just trying to make every effort to provide safer environments for people to enjoy our city. And how do we do that? We initiate force on people who aren't violating the rights of others. So let me show you this video that was put out by Jordan Lloyd. And it makes me wonder if he was put up to this, if he was forced to do this as some kind of a plea deal to get him, you know, get him a lesser sentence. Listen to this. I know that that video of me going viral like that kind of like put a little image out there. And and it it basically was an example. It it basically was an example of, of how what not to do in the streets as far as comply you know always comply with the cops cops tell you what to do comply always always comply with the cops cops tell you what to do comply always end quote always comply with cops so there's never a time where a cop gives you an unlawful command or order and you can stand your ground i mean this is literally it almost looks like they fed him the words to say so that that Whoever sees this video doesn't employ critical thinking and say, wait a second, you're giving, you're offering me a false dichotomy. I, in that video, you know, speaking from the perspective of Lloyd, did not comply with the officer's command. I made a mistake. That was something that I shouldn't have done. I should have complied. And now you guys should follow my example and always comply. So you have on one end of the spectrum, don't comply, resist the officer with everything that's in you at all times in every place. And now always comply with the officers. They tell you to do something, do what they say always. How about the middle ground of, hey, you know what? I've got rights and you're supposed to be here as a law enforcement professional, somebody who swore to protect and defend the constitution. You're supposed to be protecting my rights. Uh Uh-uh, ain't gonna do it. Not gonna compromise with tyranny. There's no room for that in this video. And it makes you wonder if the words that he's speaking are his words or if the court system put him up to it so that it could diffuse any and all critical thinking so that anybody who's looking at this case can go, you know what, the young man made a mistake and let's forget about the crimes committed by the badged clowns. You know, I kind of learned from that, you know, being young, that's the first time getting arrested. I kind of learned from, you know, obeying the laws, you know, if the cop asks you to do something, do it, okay, I understand that. And then that's the third time. Anytime a cop asks you to do something, you just do it. It's understandable. Of course, I could have uh, prevented anything that happened in that video, you know, if I would have complied. So I would just basically give the word to the youth and kids, people younger than me, to always just, you know, respect your elderly and respect um, anybody in the future and in this world because, you know, the more you risk your life, um, then that's the more people's going to take advantage of you. You know what I'm saying? You don't want to risk your respect, your elders, respect anybody in the future. What's the implication there? Respect the police. Guess what? If they're not being respectable, do you give respect to somebody who didn't earn it? I don't care if they have a uniform badge, gun authority, of the state, whatever. I don't care how important they think they are. I don't care if they're a politician, congressman, senator, president, vice president, governor, police officer, lawyer, priest. If they do things that are disrespectful and not worthy of respect, then they don't get respect in return. 
That's called justice. That's called doing the right thing. That's called standing for what is right, no matter what it might cost you. Unbelievable here. Life and put your life in danger over something so small. I see myself being a counselor or a mentor for, <laughs> you know, the younger kids and the younger youth, you know. I'm a counselor and a mentor to younger kids. Hey, younger kid, what's he going to teach the younger kids if he stays consistent with this video? Always comply with a police officer. Wherever they give you a command, always obey. How about stand for your, how about stand for what is right no matter who's in front of you? Even if you're afraid, assert your rights, even if your voice shakes. Crazy stuff here. So apparently later on in 2017, this incident happened in May of 2016. Later on, he was arrested. This is the same kid right here a year later. This is Jordan Lloyd. You can see right here was arrested Friday on suspicion of vehicle theft. And it says it's kind of interesting. The wording, the 20 year old Merced man whose arrest last year drew attention after his struggle with police officers was caught on video is back in custody again. Jordan Lloyd was arrested Friday on suspicion of vehicle theft. So he was charged with vehicle theft, which means he could have been completely innocent. We don't know. Plus it's being filtered through the police, given the information to mainstream media, we already know that we can't trust fake stream CIA infiltrated Operation Mockingbird MK Ultra Media, and we sure can't trust anything that comes out of the public relations firm in your local police department. The police department reported, let's see, he remained in custody on Tuesday at the John, uh, whatever this is, correctional facility without bail, according to the Merced County Jail records. And then it says, police said, so just, just get ready, because these people are trained to lie. Police said Lloyd was identified as a suspect in a car theft case from earlier this month. The car was a 2008 Chevrolet Co Cobalt and was taken from the 1100 block of West 19th Street, Merced Police Captain Matt Williams said. Lloyd was spotted in the area of, the, of 24th and V Streets on Friday, police said. So he was in the area and he fit the description. So they decided to arrest him on suspicion that he was involved in a car theft. Now, if it's true that J Jordan Lloyd was involved in stealing somebody else's car, that's a crime and he should be punished period. But could he be getting set up? Could be. Was he fed uh, and told what to say right here so he could get a lesser sentence for the crime that he didn't commit with the bicycle incident? Yeah, Probably, but one thing we know for sure is the Merced Police Department did not deal with the criminal activity that Martinez and Gonzalez were involved in that day when they decided to put their hands around the neck of an 18 year old kid or a 19 year old kid who was just riding his bike on the sidewalk, according to police. So I wanted to give a follow up to that. Let me know what you guys think about this. There's always, there's always something. There's always something that, that needs to be dealt with when you're talking about an authoritarian psychopath. And like we've said before, it's not so much that cops become psychopaths. It's that it's looking more and more and more like psychopaths are wanting to become cops. And, you know, I can't escape it. Video after video, what the frick are these people thinking? Do they not have access to the internet? Do they not watch YouTube and see how bad their fellow police officers are? And doesn't that cause within them to have kindle a fire of motivation where that ain't never happening to me, man. If somebody's got a recording going on me or I've got a body cam, I'm going to be crossing my T's and dotting my eyes. There ain't no way I will do what Austin hop and Daria Jalali did to, uh, miss Garner, a 72 year old Karen Garner in Loveland, Texas or love less Texas. There ain't no way I would be caught dead being in a hallway of a La Quinta Inn, giving rapid fire commands to poor Daniel Shaver and then pulling the trigger like Philip Brailsford did. There's no way that I'm going to treat Philando Castile or James Boyd or Kelly Thomas or, or, or any one of these people, you know, there, there aren't dozens, there aren't hundreds. There aren't thousands. There's tens of thousands of videos out there showing cops doing, just doing wrong, just being bad garbage, pale human beings. 
So leave your thoughts about this for the world and the global thought police in the comment section below. If you haven't done so already, subscribe to the channel, hit the bell notification icon, give it a thumbs up, share it with everybody you know. Don't forget to subscribe to my email list through my website, highimpactflix.com. All these links are in the description below. If you want to support the channel, grab a hard-hitting conversation starting design or become a channel member. The key takeaway from this and all my videos is freedom is dangerous, but I'd way rather have dangerous freedom than peaceful slavery. I will see you in the next video.